Darth Vader became such an icon in the first film, episode four, that that icon of evil sort of took over everything, much more than I intended. If it had been one movie, that wouldn't have happened. He would have been revealed to be this pathetic character at the end of the movie. Uh, but now by adding episodes one, two, and three, people begin to see the tragedy of Darth Vader as, as what it was originally intended to be. And I like the idea that the person you thought was the villain is really the victim. And uh, that the story is really about the villain trying to regain his humanity. It becomes really the story of Darth Vader's redemption. Palpatine represents the devil. He represents the pure evil, the Dark Lord of the Sith, who uh, is purely out to get more power in his greed. Everybody believes it's Darth Vader, uh, who's the really ultimate bad guy. But the guy who's truly evil is Palpatine. He has manipulated this whole saga. Ian does such an amazing job of uh, playing the puppet master, you know, he uh, pulls each string with such charming yet evil precision.